Grant's from Barrowlands Entertainment. I'm here with Dan from Set It Off. Would you like to introduce yourself, say what you do in the band? Hey, what's up? Like you said, my name's Dan. Um, I play guitar and set it off. And how's work tour been for you so far? The work tour has been absolutely amazing. It's been the hardest working few months ago to double. Like, I will never forget the work. I almost feel like if we didn't do so much stuff, I won't be able to stay in shape on the story you know, from all the food we eat. But um, it's been very hard working, but it's been the most fun and most memorable time. I know um, Cody and Olga have talked about that work's always been kind of a big dream for you guys. Yeah. So, I mean, what was it like for you to actually accomplish that goal and finally play work? Oh, it was, it was uh, like, such an ungodly feeling. Like, we had just gotten home from a tour and we found out, so we're all kind of like doing our own thing for mm-hmm. a couple of days and really just all five of us like call each other, like, oh my god, we're actually in my world tour. It's, it's been, you know, that was like definitely a, a staple we wanted to take. Like, mm-hmm. like, what was the inspiration behind you guys put out? Possibly the best and most random. I guess uh, letting your fans know that you're in Beyond Warped. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> that um, I mean, we, we like to keep people on our toes, and I mean, like as as serious as the content of our music can be, and as mm-hmm. as it is, we like to show people, like, you know, we're we're normal dudes. We like to have fun. We like to be goofy. Like be weird. I, I think it makes it you know that much more fun for people to see that side of us. Yeah, that we can you know be that wacky and out there. So I think like. Which was a big thing, so why not go over the top for it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you guys have always been really presentable. You always come up to your fans outside of shows and talk to them. How important is it for you to have that interaction with your fans? Absolutely. That's that's definitely number one, you know, because you could write the greatest songs in the world or be the greatest band in the world, but if you don't have people that actually care about your band and what you do and who you are or listen to the music when it comes down to it, it's you're, you got you have no future. You know, us getting the Warped Tour, Warped Tour does surveys that where people go and say, I want to see this band. Mm-hmm. You know, our, our family, our fan base, you know, they went and did that for us. And that's why it's like such an important thing to be close. We owe that to them, there's no question. Mm-hmm. And you guys always put on a great show and are very interactive with the crowd and everything. What have you brought out to Warped to bring something new to your success? Um, I mean, I just feel like, I don't know if it's anything specifically new, but I mean, we've been on the road for a while since we've done U.S. Tour. I think it's our first U.S. Tour in seven months. Mm-hmm. Realistically, besides the South by Southwest, we run. But um, I feel like, you know, we've gotten stronger as, as a live performing band, and I feel like we hopefully take it to that next level of people who you know who does that. Yeah, every, as it been, every show that you've been bringing out the uh, leads here for New Year's Day to perform your song with you? Yeah, pretty much every show she can. Mm-hmm. Like, if there's not a conflict with the set time we're signing, she's out there. Yeah. She's just trying to throw and stuff. How fans responded to that? They love it. I think they love seeing that interaction with her and Cody because, you know, this video mm-hmm. portrays it very much the same way, you know, kind of Bonnie and Clyde vibe. So to actually see that live, they can, you know, witness them mm-hmm. themselves. And those two have a great chemistry. They interact really well with each other. So it's, I think it's, they love it. It's amazing. And then what made you, I mean obviously the video ties a lot into the song and pretty much plays it mm-hmm. part for part. Uh, what made you want to, I guess, do it that way? Um, we've always, we've always wanted to be guest vocals on something and you know, they, they always have all these, these love songs that come out and whatnot. We're like, let's, you know, let's put a little spin on, let's be a little weird and dark and about it. And you know, Ashley, her band New Year's Day, um, has that very dark, eerie, you know, haunted house vibe. Mm-hmm. So she was just, just a perfect fit for it and she knocked out the part and it just worked out. I know a lot of fans were surprised to kind of see all their favorite members dead at the end. Oh yeah, yeah. It was I mean, so a lot of people surprised at that. <laughs> yeah, I mean that, that was a little more of a darker turn on, but I mean it was, I think it, the way we wanted to do the video, we wanted to keep it very more storyline based. Mm-hmm. And that just seemed like a very, you know, cool, like yeah. a fine cloud, mm-hmm. kind of conclusion. So. Kind of the logical end. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. And I know from pretty much the first time I saw you, and I know that you have to kind of start off the set mm-hmm. with pretty much amazing pre-show, I guess, ritual. Okay, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I know you're kind of without the rest of the band, but would you mind kind of showing it? Yeah, yeah. Um, we're, we're hardcore Dragon Ball Z fans, so uh, I don't know if you, any of you know much about the show, but the main character has a certain called Kamehameha Wave, so we, we get down and we go Kamehameha, do that, and then we have a chant. We actually just added a chant too. Yeah. We chant it off. It goes, ain't no party that set it off party because set it off party is the best. And so, <laughs> yeah, we do that. We get really loud and rowdy, and then we just always go to play our shows. We never miss one. Every single show we played, we It was always cool thing to see first. I had never seen anyone else do it, so it was really cool. Thank you. And what's uh, what's next after work? Uh, we take uh, we go home for for a few weeks. Um, we hop in the studio for about a week to record something that I can't really say what it's mm-hmm. for, but something really cool. 
um, record a song, uh, go to the UK with Wonder Man in Europe with Tonight Alive mm -hmm. for the end of October, or end of September through October. Then in a couple of days we're announcing a full US tour that we're doing that's coming in a little bit of Canada. So I'm uh, really, really excited about it. It's probably one of the biggest tours we've done so mm -hmm. Yeah. And how is, I mean, you've actually grown a lot this year. Thank and you. you've come a really long ways in, I guess, your size and fan base and everything. What is it meant for you to just gain this popularity and be able to go on all these tours and um it's it's been so crazy because like things have picked up so fast in the past few, few months for us you know it's uh it's, it's surreal but uh, i feel like we're the way uh, the way our band works is like we're, we're like, i think we're like we enjoy it for like 15 seconds like this is really cool we're getting these tours where you know people are starting to recognize who you know the kind of band but now we need to work harder you know mm -hmm. so i think it's if anything it's more fuel and drive for us we got we have to play main stage in Orlando at Warped Tour, mm -hmm. and that was the most really amazing moment of our career. And but we all got off for like, what do we need to do to be on your next time? Mm -hmm. tour, like, so. And that was the that's pretty much your hometown show. Yeah, close to it. It was like yeah. two hours away from home, so mm -hmm. it was pretty amazing. It was there a big turnout for? Wow, it was unbelievable. I felt like we were playing to a main stage crowd. Like it was pa packed all the way to the point. Was, it was wow. What's the best way for fans to contact you? Um, we all have our personal Twitters. It's our it's our names. Tagged with SIO at the end, so Cody SIO, Austin SIO, etc. Mm -hmm. um, our band Twitter is Set It Off. Um, our Instagram is Set It Off Band. Facebook.com forward slash Set It Off Band. And just uh, hit us up. Or, you know, we may not be able to get back to you right away, but we always will. We see everything in Boston. Mm -hmm. And on these future tours, uh, why should fans check it out? Um, I feel like we put on a very strong, high energy live show, and um, our music is not exactly the same as everybody else. So I think if you're in for something different and you're, you want to take a risk, come check us out. Is there anything else you'd like to say to your fans out there? Um, just thank you guys for all the love and support that I got us here. So we got a lot more work to do, so I hope you guys are sticking around with us. Nice, it's okay. Hey, yeah, absolutely. Thank you. Thank you.